Alright guys, this is Life is Strange. It's the first episode. There's gonna be five, and I plan on playing all of them. I'm not gonna say much in this intro, so without further ado, let's get into Life is Strange, episode one. Go, jeez. I'm so excited. Like, look how nice it looks. Hurry up, get to the lighthouse. Come on. Does she have a run command? Can we run? I don't think we can run. Can I... Can I touch stuff? I don't think so. Let's go. Or was that... Nope. Okay. Holy shit. So surreal. Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm These in class. Everything's cool. Memory, so I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. Did he just say Victoria. Bueller? Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. All right. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the I do by the love my analog camera. I should take she a quick picture now. Tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? I did know, okay. You're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is Don't get angry. Is here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. 
A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait My little was camera bag is Robert battered, Cornelius. but still kicking. You can find out all about him. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, whoa, it's like an actual journal. October 1st, October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. Oh, alright. I'll leave this for you guys to read. Alright guys, basically, I'm not, um, paying much attention to that. Or even... I'll look at it when I'm editing. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. She really did not have very many people in her class. That was something that I thought was a little bit weird. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Oh, that's my name, so stop talking about me. Oh, that's cool. Do we get to take these little, like, pictures of little things that we see like that? And then take a look at them later? Macro eyes. Cool. Uh, look at him. There in the world. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I don't want anybody to feel. Ex Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, do I have to? I didn't have any time. Uh. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Well, all right. Goodbye. I don't really want to look at her, but I guess we will. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Smack? She's talking smack. Oh, TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Uh, alright, you guys can read that. I usually read this stuff when I'm editing, but I won't read it now. How cute I looked, Jack. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Cute. Hot. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture, Jack. Because Max wants everybody to see how he or she I'm not paying for it. Would you please? It's so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs>
Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Evan doesn't say much to me. Wait, not Evan, Alyssa. His Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. This is pretty amazing. What? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Watching the world from the Music's a little loud, but I think that's something you probably turned down. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. <laughs> I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Is she on a phone? I think so. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. They're just pushing him. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Looks like she's been gone for months. Okay, that's the one that it's Mace the the game is about. Rachel Amber. Vending machine. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Not really. What do you need that for? There's Hayden. Another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. The poster is everywhere. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Ooh, the camera. I can't go that way. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh, that's so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Alright, I think we're good now. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Oh yeah, that's right, she did say that. It's kind of cool how this is working. Is this it? That's guys. This is girls. To all of you, a merry Empty and good. Girls. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. <sighs> Let's look at the mirror. I first. feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Take it. Take the photo. Take the photo. Come on.
Oh gosh, why is he in the girl's bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh my gosh. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Dang it, our camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Hold L2 to I'm... rewind. Oh my gosh. Maybe save our camera. Yeah. I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine? <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Damn. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted when I took my selfie, so Jefferson asked me a question. She saw if he does again, I I'll know this was for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yes. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? Can we rewind Boxes again? Portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Yeah. Because this is from the same people who made, um, Remember Me, and that was all about, like, Max, rewinding. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yes. This. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so Wowzer, far away. my old broken... 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Okay, let's go. I don't want to talk to him. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your own. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I don't have it. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, I'm not avoiding it. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Don't let you stop me. You stopped me a second ago. Hold L1 to quickly undo your previous action. So I guess that wasn't a good idea to say. What I said. Was it? No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a- Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Ooh. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's- I'm gonna skip start. this. Alright. So, John Lennon said- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. It was very kind of him. Sorry about the camera work I'm doing. It's just I'm messing it up, aren't I? Hope I? I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yep, let's just get there and get there really quickly. Cause uh Daniel. You remember that it's payday? That was very, very creepy. And it's like weird because you guys don't feel it in 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 the controller. When it happens, I can feel okay, it. Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so. I need a hammer to break it open. Okay, where's a hammer? Where's a hammer? Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit! I can't. I need a hammer to break it open. Didn't I get it? You are not affected Max, by the rewind. Don't fuck around. Rewind. Well, for this than drugs. All right. Move the. Move the cart. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! What? No. I need a hammer to break it open. I'm so confused about what's going on right now, you guys. I wonder how we'll get around this. Okay, hold on, wait. I needed more time. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm All so right, move the cart. Where's the hammer? We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> Shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. It's very, very real. Shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yes, yeah, sir. Get to it, jerk. Alright, where's the exit? Oh, it's here. He's gonna say something, isn't he? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? I mean, the alarm's you off. a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Back off. Uh, I'm gonna report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course of this course. academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. Oh, I should have let her continue to talk. Sorry.